hello folks so today it is uh, uh, let me write the code first i have it in mind but i forgot to write uh, it so it is it is it is it is uh, 2020 october november paper 11 one, one, and the question number is 12 actually i recorded it long back but uh, i did uh, something horrible while uh, editing it uh, during cropping so i'm doing it uh, again <clears throat> so i could not post uh, such a video because uh, this portion itself was missing i don't know why so it is question number 12 it says that two people push a vertical gate to open it gate to open it so people are pushing like this the forces exerted by the people on the gate are shown so these are the forces f1 f2 one person is distance d1 from the gate hinge so this is the hinge or fulcrum we can say uh, distance d1 and pushes with a horizontal force f1 at uh, angle theta 1 to the gate so actually what is happening is uh, we are looking this view is from the top this view is from the top so it is actually uh, the forces here are horizontal are horizontal here uh, theta to the gate the other person is at a distance d2 d2 from the hinge and pushes with a horizontal force um, f2 f2 at an angle theta 2 to the gate what is the total momentum about the hinge due to the forces f1 and f2 so here uh, they have not applied the forces perpendicularly so they have got certain angle there and we have to find the total uh, moment so first uh, let us find their individual uh, moments so the moment due to this f1 will be equal to they said tau 1 should be equal to f1 into r1 radius 1 so the radius 1 uh, will be it will be the distance from the fulcrum to the point of application of force so it should be d1 here d1 and then sign of the angle between d1 and f1 sign of the angle between let us say r1 and f1 so that angle is definitely this theta 1 so it is sine of theta 1 sine of theta 1 then similarly for tau 2 it will be so this is tau 2 will be equal to in this case it is f2 then r2 will be equal to this d1 so it is a d1 into sine of the angle between the directions of of f2 and d2 so the direction of d2 is somewhat like this this is the direction of d2 or let us say this d2 and uh, this f2 is somewhat like this so this is sine of theta 2 now it will become the total torque will be, will be equal to so this thing will uh, move the uh, move the uh, move the gate in uh, anti-clockwise sense anti-clockwise this also will move the gate in anti-clockwise sense it's because the fulcrum is here so if it is the fixed point and we apply force like this this thing will definitely move somewhat like this somewhat like this so anti-clockwise so the total torque will be equal to sum of these things sum t1 plus uh, tau 1 plus tau 2 equal to f1 d1 sine theta 1 uh, plus f2 d2 sine of theta 2 so let's explore this thing here so here we have a cos theta so it is wrong again we have got cos theta it is wrong here we have got something minus here minus here should be wrong because we have no minus term then we let us go for this so we have f1 here d1 here sine theta 1 plus d2 f2 sine theta 2 so this should be the correct choice now people might argue that uh, in this case uh, since uh, the angle is at the left side here shouldn't the angle be this they might argue but even if you do this what you have is it will be sine uh, 180 minus theta 2 so this angle will be 180 minus theta 2 which will again be equal to sine theta 2 so it will be the same because uh, torque is uh, such a phenomenon which will be which will be exactly maximum which will be exactly maximum at angle of 90 degrees 90 degrees so after uh, 90 degrees it will be the same as uh, same as before because for example if uh, the angle is 89 uh, 91 degrees the torque will be same as 89 if the angle is 95 degrees the torque will be same as 85 and so on so that's why even if we take this angle it will be sine 180 minus theta 2 which will be again sine theta 2 the same case here so choice b is the correct choice